this is gonna be my mukbang i want to do more mukbangs and i was about to eat so i'm like why not just talk and do my mukbang so without further ado it's your girl nikki i'm in this piece yes my lashes is like gang banging throwing up crip signs all of that right now and yes i'm sitting on the floor because i just moved in so yeah what you what you heard girls still gotta eat so without further ado welcome to my mukbang if you haven't subscribed subscribe don't wait chick like get your life okay so this is not like a um, national type of restaurant. It's called Flavor. Um, they are more so of a Creole type of restaurant. Um, New Orleans type style and stuff. They are known for like they shrimp and grits and stuff. But as you know, for those of my day ones, y'all know I'm a vegetarian. So I really just be buying sides and stuff. So that's what I got today. And I just want to talk to y'all as I'm eating. So I got mac and cheese. I got greens, collard greens, no meat. And I got, um, what is this? Mashed potatoes. So that's my meal. And I'm like, well, I'm not just doing mukbang while I'm eating because I ain't doing no video in a while. And I need to, uh, Say what up or something, you know? This mac and cheese is fire. Mm, it's really creamy and flavorful. Like a lot of mac and cheese is like, they be having that generic crab cheese type of flavor or they be dry, but that that's really flavorful and creamy. And these greens, oh my god. With no meat, still got seasoning in here. They still, it's not bland. Y'all, I'm going to need to take a trip to New Orleans ASAP because it seems like they know how to season their food. Wow, I want a beignet. And I will not try beignet out here. I want a beignet in New Orleans, honey. If anybody ever been to New Orleans, leave a comment down below. I am dying to know where do I need to visit? Because I'm trying to go to New Orleans for Halloween, y'all. I think that'll be so dope. Go out there for um, Halloween, do a little tour of their cemeteries and stuff, you know, they, uh, you know, architecture and stuff. I think that'll be dope. Mashed potatoes was all right. I had better, but they still decent. They got big chunks of like potatoes in here. It's seasoned. Like they know how to season they food well. Um, yeah, it's like a real home, homey type. Like you don't have to slave over a stove and you still get that taste like that southern cooking i like that mm. Mm, man oh, i'm missing this one i, sh I knew i should have got that i knew i should got that peach cobbler that would have been a perfect touch need something sweet with this sweet potato peach cobbler what's wrong with me they had green fried tomatoes too love them mm. Oh my God. Hey, y'all gotta let me know if you have been in New Orleans, what spots do I need to go to? Let me know. Cause this food right here, if New Orleans food tastes anything like this, Creole food, I, girl, I'm going ASAP. Sign me up. Lude me out. Okay. This is so good. Let me know what kind of um hair companies you guys like. 
because I'm about to give me some more hair. I'm trying to figure out because I'm kind of I'm sick of hair right now. It's all on my neck and shit. I'm hot. Even though it's about to be fall, you know, this is the time to break out your long wigs, your poofy hair, your, you know, protective style. Perfect for hair. But I'm just tired of hair because I've just been doing these wigs and lace fronts and stuff like that. And I'm sick of the glue. I'm sick of the got to be glued. I'm sick of the sprays. I'm sick of the wig lifting after a week. Sometimes less if I'm, you know, doing too much sweating or something, but I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over these wigs right now. So, I'm just gonna, um, oh my goodness, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to give me some knotless braids. I think those are so cute. Knotless back braid. Long as fuck. Yep. And while I'm wearing my knotless braids, I'll make a few wigs to switch up because I know when I put my braids in, I'm going to miss my hair. What's I'm going to do? Oh my gosh. Comfort food. Don't eat comfort food if you trying to stay up. Because I'm telling you, a girl done cleaned up, organized her shit, washed the clothes, got in the shower. Now I'm eating and I'm about to be knocked out. Real talk. Oh my God. What y'all been up to this summer? Like, has it been a hot girl summer for y'all? Cause my summer been a cold girl, a cold, a cold girl winter girl. Cause I ain't, I ain't on that hot girl shit. I'm not on hot girl shit. These niggas crazy. I ain't got time. They too crazy. Girl, I ain't got time. Mm hmm. Oh, this mac and cheese. I ate everything. But I had to save this. Because I'm going to savor these flavors. Mm. Mm. This be the realest mac brand you ever had. You see that? You see that? Mm. Mm. Baby, bye. Baby, bye. Mm. Y'all, I am done with my meal. I'm about to drink me some water and take me a long power nap because I'm about to sleep my night away, okay? Take me a long nap, maybe Netflix. And relax. Also, what's y'all, you know, what are y'all currently watching on Netflix? Because I, right now I'm on Riverdale. Because before it was Sabrina, oh my gosh, the witch. Remember Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Oh my gosh, I was like, don't talk to me for the, until I finish these two seasons. Like, honestly, and truly, that's all my life. Like, if I find a show that I like, I will binge watch it. Power is about to come on. August 25th, in a few days, honeys, okay? Keep that on the calendar. But, yeah, when I find a show that I really like, I binge watch it. Um, surprisingly, I have not binge watched as much as I like to. Riverdale it really is a great drama, great show. But I haven't binge watched it like I normally do because I'm trying to pace myself because I know they have a lot of seasons, so I'm trying to pace myself. I am still on season one, episode eight, and it's getting really, really, really juicy. They have a lot of drama, a lot of surprise, surprises and shit going on. So I really like Riverdale. Put down in the comment box down below 
what shows you watching on Netflix, what shows you like. I still haven't seen the movie uh, with Marlon, The Sex Tuplets. A lot of people said they saw what he was trying to do, but they that he didn't. It wasn't as funny as they thought it would be. Um, but so that's why I kind of have it. It's on my list of things to watch, but I'm trying to finish this Riverdale shit. Okay, it's gonna be a long 